Hey everybody, Maxim from TabletRoms.com here. And uh, several of you have requested that I make a slightly more in-depth video about adding Google Play to the Visual Land line of tablets. So, your wish is my command. So first things first, you need to go to tabletroms.com, go into the forums, go to Visual Land Tablets, and go to the Google Play thread. Now here's where you will find the files that you will need to do this. Now two very important things. Number one, you will definitely need drivers because your computer almost certainly does not have the proper drivers installed. And even if it does, go and download them anyway, just to be sure. In addition, you will also need to download the Google Play or G Apps package. Now, this particular G Apps package, it's labeled Play Alpha 2, and that's because one of our forum members, Rabid1, whom you should thank, by the way, threw this together, and he did it for an Alpha 2. Now, you will need to make absolutely certain that you've downloaded the correct version for your tablet. For example, if your Visual Land tablet is running 4.0.3, you need to download the version 4.0.3. Otherwise, if it's running 4.0.4, .4, you need to download the version for 4.0.4. .4. Failure to do this will cause lots of problems, which you may or may not be able to fix. Okay? We good? Okay. Good. We'll press forward. Now that you've downloaded those, be sure to unzip them. I've unzipped them into my downloads folder. Now that we've got the files we need, it's time to connect our tablet to a USB port. Once you've connected your tablet, you'll need to make sure that you have debugging mode active. Now that means you'll have to go into the settings menu and into developer options and check mark the box next to debugging mode. If you do not have this check marked, then your computer and tablet will not communicate in the proper way and all you'll be able to do is just toss files back and forth as opposed to actually pushing commands. This is important. Be sure it's done. Now that you have Android debugging mode enabled, you'll need to make sure you have the proper drivers installed for the Android debugging bridge. Now, as you can see, I've already got mine enabled and uh, up to date. If it were the case that it was not properly installed, it would have one of those triangles with an exclamation point in it, much like you can see that I have one USB device that is that way. To update the drivers, you will need to tell the computer specifically where to look on your computer. So, find where you put the unzipped gapps package, and that is where you will need to be sending your computer to look for the drivers. You install the drivers, and now it's time to push the appropriate files. In this particular case, the file is labeled install underscore u o t m o d underscore usb double click that and it will bring up a command prompt where it's trying to push the files through the android debugging bridge this takes a few minutes but once it's finally done it'll say adb reboot and then it'll take a little while before it reboots but if you're patient and wait It'll reboot like a charm, and then you'll be done. Your tablet will take a few minutes to reboot, but then once it does, it will have access to the full range of Google apps, such as the YouTube and the Google Play Store. Just to finish this off, once again, you need to be absolutely certain that you've downloaded the appropriate files. If not, you're going to be in a world of hurt, and for some of you, we may not be able to get you taken care of. So, double check, triple check, make sure you're doing it right the first time. Thanks everybody, I hope that this has helped, and have a good one.